guys, it's KJ. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got my kids for Christmas, but this is the stocking stuffer edition. So if you missed my video where I told you everything I got my kids for Christmas, like their regular gifts that are going under the tree, I will link that down below. Make sure you check that out. But today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got them for Christmas. But again, it's the stocking stuffer edition. I am a mom of three. I have a three-year-old Snoopy four-year-old daughter. I have a two-year-old son and I have a three-month-old son. If you guys like today's video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. And if you're new and you like the content, I would love to have you subscribe. So like I said, if you missed what I got my kids for Christmas, again, these are just the gifts that are going under the tree. Make sure you guys check that out. But without further ado, let's get into the video and I will share with you what I got my kids for Christmas, stocking stuffer edition for this year. So starting off with my three-year-old to be four-year-old daughter, I got her these blue fuzzy socks. These were from the Dollar Tree. I think she will love these because my daughter wears fuzzy socks to bed every night. So she loves her little fuzzy socks. She likes to be all cozy in the winter months. So her favorite color is blue. And when I saw these, I'm like, I have to get these for her. So I know she will love these. Next up, I found this at the Target dollar spot. It was a dollar and it's not crayons. It's actually band-aids. So I don't know about you, but my kids love band-aids and when you could have the tiniest scratch or like just really nothing. And she's like, oh, I need a band-aid. So I thought these would be really fun for her. I thought she would really like them. And I thought it would just be like a fun little thing to put in her stocking. She loves the color blue. So there's definitely blue ones in here. So I'm sure she's going to want to use all the blue ones first. But I also thought these would be fun to take to Disney with us or just to keep in our park bag, our Disney park bag, as well as our like home park diaper bag, just so that, you know, we always have band-aids on hand. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like when you have a fun band-aid, it's just like your scrapes just feel better so much faster. So let me know if that's the same case for you with your kids. But I know when I give my kids like fun band-aids, it's like their injury is like magically better. Next up, I got her a little Play-Doh. So I got her the color blue. That is her favorite color. My kids love Play-Doh. I have a bunch of them. I got like a pack of the little Play-Dohs. I got a pack of the miniature Play-Dohs. So I just have one for her. I'm going to give one to my two-year-old and then I'll just save them throughout the rest of the year. I'll give them one for Valentine's Day, maybe stick a couple in their Easter basket. But I just figured I'd grab one little one because they already have so much Play-Doh, but I just thought these were so cute. So I'll stick one of them in her stocking. My kids love squishies and my mom has a box of them at her house. So I just went through the box and found a couple of them that I can give the kids to put in their stocking. So this one is like a little bear or something. It's just blue and that's Winnie's favorite color. So I just grabbed a blue one because she'll just love that it's blue because she has a whole bunch of blue ones. So she'll just love adding another little one to her collection. Again, keeping with blue. The next thing I got her is this shaker here. I got these on Amazon. So I just thought, you know what? I got one for my two year old and for the baby. I didn't want to leave her out. So I got her a little blue shaker this way. You know, she can also play with the baby when he's a little bit older and just like sing songs. She loves to sing. So <laughs> this will be a good little instrument for her to sing with. The next thing I found is this little activity set. I found it at the Dollar Tree. So it actually has a few little games there. It has tic-tac-toe, four in a row and car bingo. And it has two car bingos. So here you can see the car bingo. And then on this side, you can see the tic-tac-toe, but if you guys look closely here, you can see the different games there. So I thought this would be great again for traveling. It says car bingo, but you know, we can use this if we go on any kind of road trips or if we go to Disney on the airplane or maybe out to eat. I thought this would be a fun little activity set for her and it's Disney, so she will love it. Sticking with the Disney theme, the next thing I got my daughter is this little coloring book and some crayons. She has a ton of crayons, but let me tell you, my kid always loves crayons, <laughs> more crayons, and she loves the color blue. So we really go through blue crayons so quickly. She uses the other colors too, but definitely we go through the blue crayon very quickly. So always good to get her more crayons. And then I got her the Disney coloring book. I know I keep talking about Disney, but that's really what we use these things for. We use them either for when I'm cooking dinner, when we're going on vacation on the plane, or when we're out to dinner while we're at Disney or out to dinner at home. So if I keep saying that, that's just what we use these kind of activities for. But again, I think she will love this. The next thing I got my daughter for her stocking is this little Minnie Mouse flashlight. So it's also a keychain. So it turns on here so you guys can see that's where the light is. I'm going to put this on her little backpack for again traveling when we go to Disney. I think she will like this for her airplane bag. And I also think she will just enjoy playing with this with her brother, my two year old. I think the two of them will just have fun playing with flashlights because spoiler alert, I did get him one too, but I'll show you his in a second. This was a dollar I got 
got it over the summer and I got it for Christmas. <laughs> like I said, I like to buy things ahead of time. So I grabbed this at the Target dollar spot and I'm excited to finally give it to her because I think she will have a lot of fun with this. Then the last thing I got for my daughter for her stocking are these little Mickey clips. So they come in all different colors here. Like in the pink family though, but all different colors with the little Mickey head. So I did get her clips if you guys didn't watch my, when I got my kids for Christmas for Gifts Under the Tree edition. Again, I will link that down below, check that out. But I got her Mickey clips there and I'm also gonna put these in her stocking as well. And I think she will absolutely love these. I think she'll love to wear them to school or on our Disney trips, but she loves to put clips in her hair. So very excited to give these to her. Now moving on to what I got my two year old for Christmas for his stocking. Now I did get a lot of similar items because Basically, I can't get something for one and not the other, depending on what it is. But these kind of items, like I had to get some similar things. So I also got him the band-aids because he's gonna want his own Crayola Crayon band-aids as well. And then the next item I got him, like I said, I did get him a flashlight as well. So I got him this little Spider-Man one. Both of my kids love Spider-Man, but I got the Spider-Man one for my little guy. This was a dollar, like I said, from the Target dollar spot. And here, you can see there, it lights up. So like I said, I think my kids will have a lot of fun playing with these. I like that it has the keychain so I can clip it onto my bag. He doesn't have a bag yet, but actually I guess he can this year because he is too. So now he, now he can have his own bag on the plane. So we'll see. But also I think my kids will just have fun playing with these at night. Then the next thing I got for him were these fuzzy socks. I did take the tag off. They were also from the Dollar Tree, you guys can see here. I actually started to take the tag off of this one as well. But then I was like, wait, no, I got to put them in my video. So I was going to wash them. Uh, even though I'm going to give them as Christmas gifts, I wanted to wash them because I feel like my kids are going to get them and want to put them on immediately. So I will wash them and then I'll probably just like either leave them like this or put them in a ball for them to open or like use them to wrap something else. I don't know, but that's why the text on them. But anyway, I did get these for my little guy because he now wants fuzzy socks because his sister wears fuzzy socks to bed. So he's like getting into that phase as well. So I picked these up. I know these are like specifically Christmas ones. I just thought they were so cute. So, you know, I'll just wear them after Christmas, even no, they're for Christmas. Then the next items I got for him were some of those squishies. I got him two because I think Winnie had a few more things than him, so I wanted to try to like even it out. I got him this goldfish one and this little like polar bear looking one. He doesn't really care. He's just like, oh, squishies. So these are just like fun little things to put in his stocking. Then next up, I got him a shaker as well. He also loves these shakers. He loves Mr. Golden Sun when Miss Rachel sings Mr. Golden Sun. <laughs> I don't always play Miss Rachel on the TV, but I do play it a lot on my phone and like play the music. I like the ones where she sings because my kids love all those songs. So if you're someone that's not super into screen time, but maybe you like Miss Rachel, like I love Miss Rachel, but I try to limit the screen time. So what I like to do is play Miss Rachel, play the ones that's just like the songs only and my kids love it. So like I said, my kids are gonna have a blast with their little shakers singing Mr. Golden Sun and whatever other songs Miss Rachel is singing. So very excited to give that to him. The next item I have here is bubbles. I actually got one for my daughter, but I didn't show up in here. There's two of them. So I just got these little bubbles. So these are just, you know, I just like to have bubbles on hand. Again, you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, KJ is everything you're getting for Disney. But yeah, I just, you know, I try to get them things that they will use. So this will be something that they can use either in Disney when we go to the Disney parks or when we go to the parks at home, just as like a little activity. Cause we have tons of bubbles and actually, you know, these are really super easy to refill. I have like a little funnel that I can just like put in there. So I just thought these were like really tiny and like the perfect size to bring to the Disney parks or to bring with us when we go to the parks at home, just as like a fun little thing. It just like fits in the bag, you know, my bag easily. So I thought those were really cute. And again, like I can't get one for one without the other for something like this. Again, I have another repeat item here. I have more Play-Doh. I got the yellow one for my son here. So like I said, my kids like Play-Doh. I got a pack of a bunch of them. So they'll get these in their stockings. I might add like one or two more, but you know, I just am only showing you one of them. And then, like I said, I'll save the rest for either Valentine's Day or Easter, but that's what I like to do if I get a pack of something. I don't necessarily like to give it all to them at once. I'll give them like one or two or, or three or whatever at a time and then just save the rest for like throughout the year. Next up, again, another coloring book and crayon set here. 
This is another Disney coloring book. So it has a few different characters on the front. My son also likes to color. Oh, Dumbo, he loves Dumbo. My son is really getting into coloring now. He can hold the crayons pretty well now. So he does like to, you know, do his best at coloring. So this will be just a good little activity for him now that he's starting to get into that. And the last thing I got for my two year old is this little Etch-A-Sketch here. This was from the Dollar Tree. I think I got this over the summer or maybe even in the spring. I probably got it after Easter. So it was too late to put in their Easter basket. But this is just a little activity he can do. Winnie already has one and she loves it. And like I said, my son is now actually able to like hold crayons or hold, you know, so he'll be able to hold the little pin or like magnetic pen here. So this will just be a fun little activity that he can do. And then for my three month olds, he's a baby. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know it's Christmas. He might like the lights and stuff, but he doesn't know that Santa's coming and whatnot. So I didn't really get him too much. I did get him a box of the band-aids. I just decided to pick up three packs. So I did get him one as well, just as something that I mean, he's not opening it either. Like I'm gonna open it or John or one of the kids will open it for him. But I just wanted to have like something in his stocking. So I was like, what can I get that like the other kids can actually use? So I was like, I'll just get another box of Band-Aids. So that's what I got for him. And then I got him one other item and that is also a shaker. He is not quite at the age yet where he can hold things. Like he'll grab my finger, but he's not really like holding things in his hand yet, but he will be soon. So I got him his own little shaker because I'm sure he will enjoy that, like shaking it and hearing the noise. And then this way all of the kids have them. And then when he's big enough and can listen to the Disney songs or Miss Rachel, or we are very into Taylor Swift right now. My kids are like, very into Taylor Swift. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you are a Taylor Swift fan. I saw Taylor Swift probably close to, I don't know, at least half a dozen times. I saw her open up for Rascal Flats five or six times. And then I saw her at CMA Fest back when she was a country music singer. But I've always been a Taylor Swift fan, but I have not gone to see any of her when she headlined any shows. But <laughs> That may be changing because my daughter who's almost four and even my two-year-old son are like so into Taylor Swift and that's not because of me That's because of John with that. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got my kids for Christmas stocking stuffer edition If you guys like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up It really helps support the channel and if you guys are new and you like the content I would love to have you subscribe and if you made it to the end of this video leave me a little Santa Claus emoji I always like to see who makes it to the end and also also leave me a comment if you have any suggestions on what to get your little ones for stocking stuffers especially for babies because again they don't really know what's going on but if you have any ideas I always want to hear them and it's also great you know we can help each other out down in the comments for other viewers to see you know just so we can again help each other out so with that I will see you guys in my next one bye